The simplest way to explain the problem about the Pac-Man um, getting stuck into the walls is if you imagine standing with your back absolutely flat against the wall. So you've got your heels against the wall, your shoulders against the wall, and then try and turn round to the side. So your shoulder immediately hits the wall, and the Pac-Man is doing exactly the same thing. The only way you can turn round is to step slightly away from the wall, and the same thing is true at the Pac-Man. So how do we make the Pac-Man step slightly back away from the wall after he's walked into it? Well, the answer is with this one here. If I drop in, drop in above there, which is basically saying step back away from the wall onto the grid. It means lock yourself onto those little 16 by 16 squares. I don't just have to put it onto there. I have to put it onto every single one. So we're going to have to drag that in. Let's just simply drag them in onto the top of all of the instructions and make it first, drag it in onto the top. And this means that always the Pac-Man will always stick onto the grid. It's also handy when he comes to stopping in front of gaps. Because what you don't want to do is have the game where you have to get him exactly and precisely into the right position to step through um, a gap. So by making him jump back to the grid all the time, it does make the game slightly easier to play. Okay, click OK on that. Click on play. Takes a second to to come up. So now if I walk him up here, and let go you can't really see much of a difference okay but what he is doing is every time he sort of turns around he is stepping slightly back away from the wall so you can't really see the difference you see if I sort of do it like this you can sort of every once in a while just seems sort of stopping and stepping back a touch and that just makes the game a lot easier to play